What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. Skip Bayless is in deep trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Ah oh, man, this this injury. We bottom line is we have tragic news involving Demar Hamlin. You understand Buffalo Bills safety. This is a tragic situation. Um, it was a big time game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, it was a hit involving him um and like i said it's so crazy it involves cpr you know skip bayless put out a very insensitive tweet you know because uh, the game uh was postponed they did not finish the game and a lot of people are, are very happy that it went down like that um shout out to um What's my man's name? Uh, shout out uh, Shannon Sharp. He gonna have to do something about this too. You know, uh, Shannon Sharp, he, I don't see how you're gonna be able to sit next to him tomorrow across, you know, and deal with public, you know, opinion. He's gonna be in trouble, man, I'm telling you. Uh, I'm gonna read the tweet that Skip Bayless put out initially after the big time hit that led to him, uh, uh, Hamlin and Vart getting CPR. I wanna pray for him and his family. It's, it's a disgusting situation. Uh, I'm sorry that y'all have to endure this situation with Skip Bayless. This is very, very sad for the family. Skip Bayless's tweet reads, No doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of this game. But how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. You know, um... That's that. I think that was very insensitive. It seems like from that, and mind you, that that was right on the money. So you know that came from the heart. You know, um, this man could have literally died. You understand? Died. His family could have been making arrangements right now, going uh, in deep tr trauma. I don't know what's the severity. We're gonna be monitoring this situation. But for Skip Bayless to put this this tweet out at 9:30 p.m. when the game, it, it, listen. It was disgusting. He he. Now, I'm not even gonna say to his credit, public public opinion. Everybody then came down upon him. Kendrick Perkins. You had everybody coming out saying something in response to him. You know, uh, and he had to make a response. You know, but the damage is already done. You know, you 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 come out and and you with your insensitivity. You the, 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 you just completely the damage is done. There's no way you gonna be able to patch this. Because number one, Skip got a hundred chinks in his armor. You know, this is another one. You know, um, and it's like pe people going to feel some type of way about you. You know, people are already going to feel like, you know, you disrespecting LeBron James. You you came you just recently. We the, the world was just hearing you going at Shannon Sharp, your damn host, where you basically was trying to make him seem irrelevant to big up Tom Brady. Dude, this is your this is your co-worker. This is the dude you work with every day. You don't work with Tom Brady every day. But I understand all of the BS, but Skip Bayless, in his response, he says that this is after all hell broke loose after that tweet. He says this, nothing is more important than that young man's health. That was the point of my last tweet. I'm sorry if that was misunderstood, but his health is all that matters. Again, everything else is irrelevant. I pray for him and I will continue to. So I guess tomorrow, or I don't even know how, how uh, Fox is gonna allow this because trust me, I know they getting calls, Skip in trouble. Uh, Skip Bayless already got his own show. I don't know if Skip Bayless is doing this knowing that, you know, that that he might want to get up out this deal i don't know but skip bayless does have his own show you know i think and he's been putting some effort into that you understand i think he knows he see the writing on the wall you know you can't be moving like this and expect to be on public airways and as skip is in trouble trouble so um i, I want to know what y'all thoughts where the hell skip bayless gonna go from here i think his i think he's grass you know, uh, I think this is going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. It's going to be hard for people to move on from this. I don't know what he's going to be able to do. He, I guess he may have to reach out to the family. He's going to have to do some deep work, you understand, to, to get this get this over with. Because this ain't just going to be over with a tweet and then tomorrow everything all good. Um, you have too many people come out, you know, to speak on uh, Skip Bayless's silly behalf, you know. Um, and Shannon Sharp, like I said, they done put Shannon Sharp in a tough situation because now what you know uh what's going on you understand for the people that's not familiar with my man um 
DeMar Hamlin, you know, the Buffalo Bills was doing their thing too, man. He was a sixth rounder. You know, uh, it was unfortunate that this happened to him, man. But um, basically, he had to, or uh, he took a scary hit. You know, um, and like I said, he remained on the field. It was not for 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 the for the how it all went down was like he got cracked. Okay, he fell. He got up, and then he immediately collapsed. And like you seen, um, it went to about five, four or five commercial breaks. You knew you you knew what was going on. You knew it was bad. You know, uh, and like I said, I went to some sports doctors that that, that put out uh, material on stuff like this, and they were stating that that he got hit at, this is, I don't know if this is facts, but I'm just, like I said, from medical people who uh, put out, who, who who studied these kind of things, said that if you run into the person's chest at the right time with the a rhythm or whatever, like, um, it just, this was just a freak accident, you know, um, how this could happen, but at the right time or the, on the money, it could result in cardiac arrest, you know, which led to why you have CPR. They literally had to have machines breathing for this man, you understand, to get him off the floor. And for Skip Bayless to bring his insensitive behind out there and put that out there like that, that's unfortunate, man. You know, um, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I want to, like I said, I'm praying for the family. I'm praying for Mr. Demar Hamlin. Uh, hopefully, he can make a speedy recovery. You know, uh, hopefully, this is a small thing to a giant, a minor setback for a major comeback. Thank God they have the NFL. They got some of the most amazing doctors. This is one thing we want to crucify the nfl and these sports they have the best doctors the best medical personnel that you could ever ask for they had the right people on hand to deal with him you know but it's unfortunate there is no way to plan for that you know so that's, it's not like a sprained ankle i get it. that's what i'm saying if you skip bayless how do you expect to take this like a sprained ankle or something like that you know uh skip is in trouble i don't understand how anybody could side with mr skip bayless with this you know, uh, let me know y'all thoughts, man. This is disgusting. I'm, I'm thoroughly disgusted with Skip Bayless. You know, he's treading thin ice, but I think he just cracked the ice and he's going under. There's no way he survives this. You know, uh, it's going to be hard for people to even stand by him. You understand? I mean, how can you? How, if you Tom Brady, the one that you bigging up so much, I'm, I know Tom Brady not feeling that. You know, Tom Brady, understand, he been in them foxholes. You understand? He, he listen. Anybody that ever put on a pair of cleats tonight is standing with Mr. DeMar Hamlin and his family. You understand? And people are disgusted with Skip Bayless. That was that was bad. You know, he should sometimes you should not say nothing. You know, when you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. And the sick part about the situation is Skip Bayless truly believes he didn't say nothing wrong. And that's what we're going to get into at another note. It's Flight Sports TV. If you want to hear more on this topic, hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. We're going to be documenting uh, after he comes on Undisputed because this is sickening and disgusting. We're going to break it down. It's Flight Sports.